Sanjay's pass to Eaton is complete, but Tommy Luke's tackle jarred the ball loose. Pass back to the Rebels on third and two. Luke on the option is going to keep. He's got the first down to the 25, to the 20. Brace clear at the 10, 5, touchdown, Ole Miss. High formation. Peterson is wide out to the right. Armstrong is wide left. The give is to the second back straight ahead. Cannon's got some room. He's to the 2-1. Did he get in? Stop just shy. The Luke family, you know, if, if you want to know where – what it is to be Ole Miss. You just look at the Luke family, looking at Big Tommy Luke, Tom Luke, uh, Matt, all of them through and through. I mean, if you want, if you cut them, they're gonna bleed red and blue. Me and Tom shared a room, and there was a picture of him playing up there. Being from you know Nanawaya, Mississippi, a small 1A high school, uh, and playing here and going to the NFL, I, I mean, I just thought, always thought that was awesome. We grew up coming to Ole Miss games, been traveling up for all the homecoming games, obviously. We were five or six hours away, but we'd make it to as many games as we could. But he played uh, in the heyday and the, you know, the times when they were, they were going to big time bowls and playing for, uh, you know, right there on the verge of winning national championships year in and year out. It was, it's always good to, to have uh, role models like that growing up and to have him and Tom, you know, both Ole Miss players and both something for me to look up to. I always thought that was really cool. It was something special for you to play for Ole Miss. And I think that that kind of got handed down to me is, hey, there was no other place uh, that I was even going to consider playing for. Luke back to throw. He's looking. He's firing long in the end zone. He's got a man there. It is caught. Touchdown. Luke is back to throw. Pressured out of the pocket. Running for his life. Looking downfield. Fires long. It is bobbled. And then hauled in by Camp Roberts. I only knew one way to play. and. Uh, you know, I, and I heard people kind of whispering in the background and saying it, but I didn't look at myself as being any different than anybody else. Tom being a starting quarterback and a starting pitcher, you know, I wore his jerseys, you know, I came to the Grove and, you know, that was my childhood. That's what I grew up, you know, we play football on Friday and drive all night to come watch him play on Saturday. I think they ran a triple option back then, I think if I'm not mistaken. But I'll tell you what, he, he still has an arm, still has it. And I mean, I haven't seen much film, but I, I heard he was the man, though. <laughs> In order for me to play, it had to be something else that you had to bring to the table. You had to be able to uh, make everybody else around you better. Seven years later, the Luke family would again have a presence at Ole Miss, this time on the offensive line. You know, when they gave me an opportunity to play, that was something that I had worked for my whole career, and I wasn't going to give it up. I think I was a competitor. I think I, I played with uh, with emotion. I was an emotional player. Having a brother that's seven years older than you, and having a you know a dad that has been there and played in the NFL, you know you want to you don't want to let let them down, and you want to make sure you compete. That competitive passion would follow Matt Luke from the trenches of the line of scrimmage to coaching on the sidelines. He wants you to do everything a thousand miles an hour every time, and it's just kind of. You, you, you kind of don't have a choice just because, you know, sitting in meetings, he gets fired up. Sitting in, I mean, listening to him talk in front of the team, he gets fired up. He gets fired up to go through walkthroughs. Right, let's go. Come on. Play the next play. Don't blink. Don't blink. Just one play at a time. Don't lose your focus. Don't give him nothing. Don't lose hey. your focus. Hey, hey, play with your heart. Let's go have some fun tonight. Hey, hey, I'm in this thing. I'm going to coach the best game of my life tonight. You hear me? I'm in this thing. Hey, don't play tight. Cut loose and finish. Let's go play fast. You hear me? Let's go. Let's go. You know, just him being around, you know, him knowing the Ole Miss, you know, legacy, it really helps us to, you know, be motivated in some games that they've been in, the LSU game, the Mississippi State games, you know, just different things like that. Rebels get the stop on defense. Vandy will punt away. It's Openshaw standing at his 22. Back to receive the punt is Carlos Davis at the Rebel 25. And here's the punt, and it is blocked. The Rebels do finally get one. Bounced up in the air and grabbed by one of the Vanderbilt players and tackled to the 19-yard line. It was special. You know, you try not to let your emotion, especially in the game, you're trying to win the game. But uh, I was so happy for him because he worked so hard to try to do anything he could to, to help the team. For him to block the punt at a crucial time at, 
you know, at that stage of the game and for it to be him to be a part of it, you know, special. Hey, you have no idea how big that was. You have no idea how big that was. Chip off the old block. He played here, his brother played here, his dad played here, and you know what I mean? He preaches that, like how hard he worked, and you just can't help but do the same thing. Words can't describe how red and blue uh, the Luke family is. Uh, you know, their dad, of course, Tom, Matt, you talking about a, a loyal family to, to Ole Miss. Words can't describe. Words can't describe how loyal and uh, how red and blue they are, especially Matt Luke, especially Matt Luke. What I did know is that Matt was from Mississippi, and when I started seeing Matt's, um, Matt's emotion and excitement, you know, when we would get close to the Egg Bowl or we get close to the LSU game and his passion for Ole Miss. Um, and then when Tom joined the staff, you know, uh, it was very similar, very similar in the same regards. And then, you know, Kale walking on and getting a block punt in the game and to see the excitement on his father and his uncle's face and um, what that meant to their entire family. Uh, it's just, you can't speak of things like that. Those are stories that are just special. I don't know if it gets any redder and bluer. It's, uh, you know, it's, that's the way we grew up. That's all we know. And whether they're the best team in the country or whether we're owing whatever, you know, it's, you're still going to defend your brother. And that's what Ole Miss is to us family. And that's our brother. I mean, it's, it's, it's who I am. It's how I was raised. And uh, just to be able to, uh, to be a part of it and be mentioned uh, with my dad and my brother, and now Kale. It's my whole family, and um, and that's that's what we grew up. That's what we knew, and now to be able to represent that, being a graduate and uh, being a coach and have being a player, just to just to be around it, I think um, I think it's special, and it may make it a little tougher during the hard times, but it sure makes it special when we can represent the University of Mississippi uh, at the highest level, maybe better now um, than at any time before, and to see our whole family be a part of it makes it special.